In this video, we will talk about geometric sequence and series. Definition of geometric sequence In a geometric sequence, each term is found by multiplying the previous term by a constant or a fixed number, which is also known as common ratio. So the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, where a sub 1 is the first term and r is known as the common ratio. In arithmetic sequence, r is known as the common difference, while here in geometric sequence, r is the common ratio. So we can find common ratio by dividing the term by previous term. Geometric sequences are sometimes called as geometric progressions. Write the first five terms of a geometric sequence in which a sub 1 is equal to 2 and r is equal to 3. So here, meron na tayong a sub 1, which is our first term. So 2, and our common ratio, which is equal to 3. So para mahanap natin yung next na number or next na term, so, multiply lang natin yung ating previous number by 3. So, a sub 2 is equal to 2 times 3 is equal to 6. And then, a sub 3, multiply lang natin yung previous number which is 6 by 3 ulit which is equal to 18. And then, a sub 4, so 18 times 3 is equal to 54, and then yung ating a sub 5, yung fifth term natin, so 54 times 3 is equal to 162. So ito yung ating first 5 terms ng geometric sequence with a sub 1 is equal to 2 and a sub n with 3 as common ratio. Find the number of terms in the sequence 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, up to 256. So here, meron na tayong a sub 1, which is equal to 1. And our common ratio, so let's divide a number by its previous number. So let's have 16 divided by 8, which is equal to 2. And then 8 divided by 4, which is also equal to 2. So therefore, at ang ating common ratio is equal to 2. Using our form formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. So, sub lang natin yung mga given natin. So, a sub n is equal to 1 times yung r natin which is equal to 2 raised to n minus 1. So, a sub n is equal to 2 raised to n minus 1. So, since meron tayong last digit or last number which is equal to 256, so kung pang ilan siya, ay yun, yun ang ating total number of terms in this sequence. So, hanapin natin kung pang ilan bang term itong 256. So, 256 n is equal to a sub 1 or is equal to 2 raised to n minus 1. Using the law of logarithms, so, kailangan yung dalawang side nito ay parehong, pareho ng base. So, kailangan natin gawing uh, 2 ang base ng 256. 2 raised to 8 is equal to 256. So, yan. Pareho na sila ng base. And then, pwede natin ibaba yung exponent. So, 8 is equal to n minus 1. So, n is equal to, lipat natin itong 1 sa kabilang side, 8 plus 1, so n is equal to 9. So, ibig sabihin, yung 256 na yun ay 9th term. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong 9 terms dito sa sequence na to. The 4th term of a geometric progression is 216, and the 6th term is 1,944. Find the 8th term. So, yung 4th term daw is a sub 4 is 216. And 6th term, A sub 6 is 1,944. So, equate lang natin itong mga to. So, A4 is equal to A sub 1 times R raised to N. 
and natin is 4 minus 1 is 3. So, a sub 6 is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n, which is 6 minus 1 is 5. So, magiging 216 r is to 3, and then 1944 is equal to 1 a sub 1 times r raised to 5. And then, since paraho naman silang may a sub 1, so I divide lang natin yung dalawang equation na to para mahanap natin yung r. So magiging 1944 is equal to a sub 1 r raised to 5 and then 216 is equal to a sub 1 r raised to, 5, raised to 3. So, mga cancel out to. So, ang matitira is over 216 is equal to r raised to 5 over r raised to 3 is r squared. So, square root lang natin to para makancel out yan. So, calculate lang natin. So, makukuha natin r is equal to 3. So, nakuha na natin yung common ratio which is 3. So, hanapin naman natin yung a sub 1. Gamitin natin tong equation na to. 216 is equal to a sub 1. r is equal to 3. So, r is 3. So, 3. So, yung a sub 1 natin is equal to 8. Yung first term daw natin is 8. Hahanapin na natin yung 8 term. So, a sub 8 is equal to a sub 1 which is 8 times r times n 8 minus 1. So, a sub 8 is equal to 17,496. A pendulum swings through an arc 100 cm long on each successive swing. The pendulum reduces its arc to 9 tenths of the length of the arc. Find the length of the arc on its 8th swing. So, jot down na natin yung mga given. So, yung given natin is a sub 1 which is 100 cm long. So, originally, yung arc daw is 100 cm long. At kada swing daw ay nag reduce yung length ng arc to 9 tenth of its original length. So, ang 9 tenth na yun ay tinatawag na common ratio. And then, yung hinahanap natin is yung pang 8 na length daw. So, yung length daw at its 8 swing. So, using our formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So, a sub n, which is a sub 8, so, a sub 1 natin is 100 centimeters long. Multiplied by yung common ratio which is 9 over 10. And then raised to n, 8 minus 1. Then, calculate lang natin. 47.83 centimeter. So, sa 8 swing daw, ay ganto na lang yung length ng arc. What is the salary of an office secretary in 2010 if her salary in 2012 was 20,000 pesos with an increase of 40% annually? So, let natin a sub 1. So, let a sub 1 yung salary in 2010. Then, a sub 2 salary naman in 2011. And a sub 3 is equal to salary in 2012 naman. So, sabi doon, kada year daw yung salary ay nag increase by 40%. So, para makuha natin yung a sub 2. So, para may, para makuha yung a sub 2 natin. So, a sub 1 plus 0.4 times a sub 1. So, magiging a sub 2 is equal to 1.4 a sub 1. 
So, a sub 2, baba lang natin itong a sub 1. So, magiging a sub 2 over a sub 1. So, ito yung magiging common ratio natin, which is equal to 1.4. So, r is equal to 1.4. Sub lang natin yung mga given natin sa formula. So, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So, para makuha natin yung a sub 1, so, a sub lang natin yung a sub n. So, yung a sub 3 natin in 2012 daw was 20,000. So, 20,000 is equal to a sub 1 times yung r natin which is 1.4 raised to n. n natin is 3 minus 1 is 2. So, a sub 1 is equal to 10,204.08 pesos. The definition of geometric series. It is the sum of all the terms in the geometric sequence. The sum of n term is given by S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times R raised to n minus 1 over R minus 1 where a sub 1 is the first term and r is the common ratio. The sum of the first 10 terms of geometric progression, 2, 4, 8, 16, is... So, sum down no first 10 terms. So, magiging n natin is 10. And using the formula s is equal to a sub 1 times r is to n minus 1 over r minus 1. So, R natin, yung common ratio. So, number over previous number. So, halimbawa is 4 over 2 is equal to 2. And then, direct sub lang. Isab 1 natin is 2. Then, R is 2 let raised to N, which is 10 minus 1. Over R, so 2 minus 1. The so sum is 2,000. 46. What is the sum of the three geometric means between 2 and 162? So, dito, hanapin daw natin yung sum ng geometric sequence between 2 and 162. So, let natin yung a sub 1 is 2. 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5 natin is 162. Dahil, yung 3 geometric means daw yung hanapin natin. O yung sum ng 3 geometric means, between 2 and 62 yung hanapin natin. So, hanapin muna natin yung common ratio nila. a sub 5 is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So, n natin is 5. So, a sub 5 natin is 162. a sub 1 is 2. And then, r raised to Four. Maging 162 over 2 r raised to 4 so r raised to 4 is equal to 81 so hanapin natin dito yung 4th root no 81 mga cancel to so yung 4th root ng 81 is 3 so ito yung common ratio so nakuha na natin yung ratio, common ratio common ratio so, a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1. a sub 1 is 2 times 3. So, is equal to 6. And then, a sub 3 is equal to a sub 2. a sub 2 natin is 6 times 3, 18. And then, a sub 4 natin is 18 times 3, which is equal to 54. And then, yung total nito, pag pinag-plus natin yung lahat, Total of 78. What is the sum of the first five terms of a geometric sequence in which a sub 1 is equal to 2 and r is equal to 3? So, makapansin nyo, ito yung ating first example. So, ngayon naman, isa hanapin natin yung sum ng geometric sequence na ito. So, using the formula, s is equal to a sub 1, which is 2 times r. 3 raised to n. So, n natin is 5. 
minus 1 over r minus 1. So, 3 minus 1. Sa so, sum natin ay 242. Kung matatandaan nyo, yung a sub 1 natin is 2. a sub 2 is 2 times 3, 6. a sub 3, 18. a sub 4 is equal to 54. a sub 5 natin is 162. So, yung total nyan, pag pinag-add natin lahat yan sa calcu, so equivalent lang din yan sa 242.